What's up everybody, it's Brandon Sav back with another video. And in this tutorial, I'm actually gonna be doing something a little different. Usually my videos are probably about five minutes max, but this time, we're going all in. A lot of my subscribers actually requested me to do this video, so let's get started. In my last Instagram collage tutorial, there was a segment in the video where I explained how to make a collage. However, a lot of my subscribers felt that I zoomed past that part and didn't really explain. Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna teach you guys how to do, and I'm gonna explain it in a way that anybody can understand. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna open up a new document. You wanna have your width at 3240, and then you wanna set your height at 1080. And keep everything the same. Keep your resolution at 72 and press OK. So after you guys press OK, head to Google, and literally just search any random images that come to mind. And I want you guys to click and drag these images into Photoshop. I'm literally selecting random things that come to my head. So I selected this ASAP Rocky guest collection photo shoot and this Chance the Rapper album cover. So I want you guys to select as many photos as you can. I know that everyone's collage is actually gonna come out different. So I'm not gonna show you the process of me selecting images because I wanna see what you guys can create. So just keep pasting photos until you're satisfied. So as you can see in my layers panel, I added a lot of photos. I actually hid all of the photos in each layer and I actually like to gradually reveal them whenever I'm ready to use them. Okay, first step. We're unhiding any image that you want to use first. So in this case, I am unhiding the ASAP Rocky guest photo. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a focusing on this photo. So now I want you guys to press Command T. And what this does is it allows you to manipulate the photo any way that you want. You can enlarge it, you can rotate. It allows you to manipulate it any way. This is very crucial in making these collages. Now when you're transforming, hold shift before you make any moves. Just hold shift and then you proceed to manipulate the sides or try to resize it. And after that, you're just gonna continue this process over and over until you're starting to see progress in your collage. So I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. So as you guys are revealing different images in the layers panel, you guys might notice that some layers are obviously below or above another. So let me show you guys how to actually manipulate that and, and find the right placement for each of these images. So as I'm revealing these images, I've noticed this magazine spread, and I wanna actually reveal this image and find the right placement for it. But if you notice, it covers the ASAP Rocky, as well as some of this other black and white photo. But if you press Shift Command left bracket, it actually sends it to the bottom of the layers so that it's below every one of the other photos. So what I'm actually gonna do here is, instead of seeing this transparent background, I'm gonna color it in and fill it in any color I want. Uh, I think I'll choose white, just to keep it basic and, and simple. And what this does for me, it, it creates less of a distraction because me me personally, seeing that those checkered boxes are a distraction for me. I, it makes me think that the collage is not done and, and not full. So at least if I see white, I feel as though I know that it's coming along and, and the images are really filling up. So image placement is very important in these collages. 
So like I told you guys how to send the images all the way to the bottom, you can send the images to the top. So if you press the command open bracket, this allows you to manipulate the order that you see the image in, in the layers panel to the right side. So what I like about designing the most is there's always multiple ways to get something done. So if you don't like the open bracket method, you can also drag the layers down manually to figure out where exactly you want it. If you watched my last tutorial, you probably heard that I mentioned there's really no rules to this collage. And here's what I mean. As I'm revealing my images, I noticed this cool Polaroid of Kanye and Kim Kardashian. Now I had this Polaroid in my last collage, but I want to twist it up a bit. Noticing at the top, this ASAP Rocky guest photo is actually getting lost in the collage. So let's try and insert that photo in the Polaroid. I'm going to teach you guys how to do that now. So if you made your collage to resemble mine, you've noticed that there's at least 50 layers. So a quick way to find this ASAP Rocky photo is to actually press command and click the image on the collage. And this then helps you to select the image in the layers panel. So I was able to find that ASAP Rocky photo quick in the layers section. So now that we find the photo, I want you guys to select the polygon lasso tool. That way we can outline this Kim Kardashian and Kanye photo. Now the best way to do it is just select each corner. Just click and drag to each corner. This way it helps you to select the image as quickly and as accurate as possible. All right, so now that you have your selection, what I want you to do is duplicate this Kanye and Kim Kardashian photo. So how to do that, you press Command J. So Command J actually duplicates your selection in the layers panel. You're not gonna see it immediately because it's just gonna go exactly on top of what is already there. So now that that's duplicated, let's find the image that we want to replace it with. So I mentioned before that I want to replace it with this ASA Rocky guest photo. So let's do that. So once the photo is found on the canvas, command click so that it's selected in the layers panel. So once it's selected, please follow my steps. Press command A to select all in the canvas. Then press command X to cut this photo out. Now that the photo is cut out, what we have to do now is paste it into this Kanye Polaroid. So now what I'm actually doing is finding the photo that we duplicated before. So to find these image faster, remember I said if you command click on it, it'll select it in the layers panel. That's actually what I'm doing now. So now that I have my image selected and I know where it is, what I want you to do now is in this area here, I want you just to press command and click. And what this does is selects the, around the image. So now that the image is selected, what I want you to do is head to the top, hit edit, paste special, and then select paste into. And there you go. That's one of the techniques that is very useful when you're making a collage, just to change it up and give it your own little twist. So once you're satisfied with the placement of where the photo is in the Polaroid or wherever you're pasting it into, make sure that you follow this step. You want to right click and hit merge layers and it does exactly that it merges the layers together so that way it's flattened and when you move it around it doesn't affect the the placement of the image inside the polaroid now i can't stress this enough image placement is one of the most important things about making this collage so i'm trying to find the right placement for this asap rocky photo so once I've done that, uh, I'm literally just going to repeat the same thing that I'm doing over. Just keep revealing these photos and finding the right placement for them. Another tip I have for you guys as you're revealing the photos is try not to leave even lines. 
because with collages it's just image pasted any kind of which way so as you see like I'm, I'm moving this Michael Jackson photo above this easy one and it's like an even line above the easy photo and, and that takes away from the collages authenticity so I'm gonna duplicate this ASAP Rocky Polaroid and we're gonna make another one we're gonna repeat the steps again now if you click and drag while holding option this will duplicate the layers much faster so that's what I'm doing with this Polaroid I'm just gonna keep duplicating it and we're gonna fill it in with other photos so I'm just gonna give you guys a refresher so the first thing you want to do is grab the lasso tool again and select around the box around this Polaroid I'm just gonna keep selecting each corner four corners one two three four boom so now that you have it selected duplicate command J you have to make sure you're, you have it selected on the right layer. So duplicate, and now we have the image selected above the Polaroid again. You're not gonna see it again, remember. You're not gonna see it at first, but it's still there. Now the image I chose was this Biggie photo, this famous Biggie photo in front of a bodega, him rapping. I wanna fill that in with the Polaroid. So now you guys remember the steps. Once you find the image, you wanna cut it out, and then edit, paste into, well, paste special, paste into, and there you go. I'm not gonna really explain it over and over. I want you guys to get in the habit of actually remembering these steps. So now all I'm doing is just rearranging these photos the way that I see fit. I'm not really doing anything special. I'm just using the move tool and moving them around as I reveal new photos. So now all I want you guys to do is repeat the three steps that I taught you guys early in the video. So let's go down the list. So first I taught you guys how to transform images as far as resizing, rotating goes. Secondly, I taught you guys how to rearrange the order of the layers so you can put images above or below each other. And lastly, I taught you guys how to mask photos. So what this means is I'll call it the Polaroid effect. So where we took the images and pasted it inside the Polaroid. So guys, do me a favor and smash that like button. Get me as many likes as you can and I'm gonna continue to give you dope tutorials and teach you guys as much as I know. So let's go!